Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Hacker 101. Um, so last night I was thinking, what would be a good video to create next? And you know, we've already have installed Kali Linux and VirtualBox, and then we have um, I have created a video about how to use Metasploit or getting started using Metasploit. And so the next best video will be to create um, would be how to install Metasploitable 2 in VirtualBox. And if you don't know what Metasploitable 2 is, it's a purposely vulnerable operating system that you can practice and learn how to hack on. You know, it's in a controlled environment, and you will install it in VirtualBox. And it only takes a few steps to get started. So I thought, you know, that'll be the best video to do next. So first thing you need to do is um, just open up Google, and we're going to search for Metasploitable 2. You got to download it. It's um, it's a virtual virtual machine that you that we're going to install in VirtualBox. So Meta exploitable to download. There we go. And we I like I download from here. So go to Meta Exploitable 2. And then you can pick either one of these links and I click on the first one. And um you you'll probably yep, you'll get asked to fill out some information. You just go ahead and put in your name and all that stuff and download the file and you're gonna get a, a zip file, it's about eight hundred megabytes. And then once you download that, you'll get you know, you'll get the zip file. Just um, extract it. You'll have this folder. And here is the virtual disk. So that's the made exploitable disk. So once you get that downloaded, then the next step is we're gonna open up VirtualBox. We're gonna click on new. Let's name it made exploitable. Um, we're not going to use an ISO image. Um, we're going to select Linux. We're going to select Debian 64-bit. Okay, and hit next. You can leave it at two gigs of um, memory and one CPU. Then we're going to use an existing virtual disk. So we're going to navigate to where we downloaded Metasploit and extracted it. So go here. I'm going to go add, then we're going to go to our download folder, and then select the Metasploitable VMDK file. That's the virtual disk. Select choose, and then from here you hit, just hit next, and then you hit finish. Now, depending on how you set up your networking in um, VirtualBox, you may want to change the settings. So for me, you know, um, I go to settings. I'm gonna go to network, and I'm using a bridge network for my purposes. So I'll change that. That way, that my made exploitable VM is on the same network as my Kali Linux VM. So we'll start that up. And then from here, it, it'll initiate um, the installation of made exploitable. Then you'll log in. All right, and once it's finished loading up, it's going to tell you to log. You can log in with the login credentials, MFS admin, MF, MSF admin as the password. Like so. All right, so now we're at the command prompt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the IP address of this. All right, I see the IP address is 192.168.147. So what I'm going to do is open up my browser. Then there you have it. We have Metasploitable 2 installed. And then from here, you know, we've got various things we can test, like PHP, my admin hacks, you know, um, damn vulnerable. Um, web application, you know, a few things that we can learn, you know, how to hack um, with this Metasploitable 2, and I'll teach you that in future videos. So, 
If you haven't already installed Kali Linux, go back and get Kali Linux installed in VirtualBox. Kali Linux already has a Metasploit installed, so you don't have to install that. And then install Metasploitable 2. And then in following videos, we'll go through on how to hack Metasploitable 2, and you'll, you'll learn a lot. So um, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll make you a new video video soon. Thanks a lot.